December of 2018 was the first time the European Parliament came with a position on artificial intelligence and I was uh, a shadow rapporteur, so it's the first time the European Parliament has said something about artificial intelligence. And we know a lot of Europeans, a lot of the old countries have a lot of fear. I think for Lithuania, artificial intelligence, technology development has a huge amount of potential where we can create well-paid jobs, raise a lot of capital and create a lot of wealth in our countries, like we did in blockchain, to lead Europe with artificial intelligence startups to really generate a lot of great paying jobs. I encourage young people of Lithuania to really study coding, to really understand statistical models, because artificial intelligence, big data, offers a lot of opportunities. Well, I'm going to be the ambassador that gets young innovators to be successful. We're still behind, but I want Lithuanians to be very proud of themselves. I want Lithuanian quality to be known all around the world. So I'm going to really fight for you. And I hope we have more and more entrepreneurs, more and more coders, developers. Everyone in technology can make a very good life out of themselves. And me, I'm the fighter for you in, in Europe to fight for your rights, to fight for your opportunities, to have a digital single market which, which is open that you can compete, to make sure we don't have discrimination. And this is going to be very important for all of our innovators in Lithuania. Sometimes oil is, is, a, is a curse, like Venezuela has a lot of oil, Russia has a lot of oil, but life conditions, living conditions are very bad. Already our, our living conditions are much better. We have a country that's ecologically friendly, we have a, we don't have too much traffic, we have a lot of opportunity here. And our focus is innovation, technology, development. This is what we should do. This is our goal, this is our diamonds. I'm there to fight for you every single day.